The boat docks the Forest Service puts into various Black Hills lakes and reservoirs are now being placed in for the season. And after a long winter, it seems those docks are going to be busy. Our Roberto Hilly Sanchez explains. Boat docks are in. Everyone wants to ask once the ice comes off, when are we pushing in the docks? But we have to wait for water levels. After careful consideration of when to install the docks at Pactola Reservoir. With the Pactola fluctuates so much, we don't want the docks to sink and we don't want them to be underwater. So we want to make a good judgment call. Even the owner of Pactola Pines Marina has been preparing for the visitors still to come. It's a whole lot of work, you know, the everything sits dormant for the, the winter months. And then... April comes along and it's, okay, it's time to get everything ready. We gotta get the docks ready, the boats ready, the store ready. So it's, there's a lot to get ready, um, but it's worth it. That winter wait has given her a slip holder wait list important for business very long wait list right now. It's over 100 people long. If you're one of those individuals on that wait list or planning to just go boating this season, the U.S. Forest Service reminds people to be prepared on those boats. While you're going out on the boat, make sure if you're on a boat, you pack a life jacket and that includes kayaks and, um, and stand up paddle boards too. Life jackets are really important. Pack enough water and sunscreen, wear a hat and sunglasses, um, and just kind of be prepared for changing weather. Reporting in Pactola Reservoir, I'm Humberto Giles Sanchez. And as more people start using the lake for boating activities, the Forest Service and South Dakota Game Fish and Parks are teaming up, reminding visitors to take precautions to prevent the spread of zebra mussels, an invasive species that have been slowly spreading throughout the lakes and reservoirs around the Black Hills. And we want to make sure that they clean the boat coming in, going out, and that they drain it. So, you know, pull the plugs out, drain the water that's in the boat, um, and then also to dry the boat every single time. So clean, drain, and dry every time will help prevent the spread of the, of the zebra mussel and, and hopefully helps prevent, you know, our lakes being infested with those. If you want to learn more about this invasive species and how you can prevent their spread in South Dakota's ecosystem, you can head to our website after the show.